Uh, so I like quick tips. So here's a quick tip. Tom Heath, if you want to look, talk about branding, Tom Heath's mission is right on the back of his card, right? So again, when we were talking about those little uh, rack cards, it's, here's a mini rack card, <laughs> right? You want to know what he's about. He doesn't, if, he hand, if somebody gets this handed to them, they know what he's all about, right there. It's, his mission is there. That's a connector that's authentic, that helps people understand who Tom is instead of just that pretty face, right? It's, it's, right? It's the true. It, it, changes th it changes things when people can make more connection, which is what we're all about today and why I love video. Because video now is allowing you to be more authentic than you've ever been before because it's how much does it cost to do Facebook Live? Free. Isn't that pretty cool? By the way, what happens if you do a Facebook Live video? Who knows the answer? If you do Facebook Live video and you do a video like that, what's the difference between the two on Facebook? If I do a production video and I post it or I go live, what's the difference? What happens? No, good. It sends a notification. What? It sends a notification. Right, so live sends a notification. By the way, this is Colin, our, our student at what? You're at Eller? Eller, and he's studying marketing and advertising and has come in to uh, take our class. That's pretty awesome, right? That's awesome. Um, and Darren Jones is in the house. Woohoo! <laughs> um, so let's, so what were we just talking about? See, I just lost my track. Facebook notifications. So he says notifications. So I go live, and all of a sudden, the longer I'm live, the more of you are being notified, right? And it's saying, Tony Ray's live. And it's going to my friends and friends of friends, and it's saying, Tony Ray's live, Tony Ray's live. And, there's, and it gives prompts. It says, has anybody seen the prompts? Hey, you should talk to Tony Ray, or you should give him a thumbs up, or do something. It does things. I don't even know what it says, but it says stuff. It encourages people to interact with you live. There is another big, so this is production, right? Go, this is Gonzo work right here. Gonzo did all that. So yay, Gonzo. That's an amazing video, by the way. It really is. So that's production. If I post that, I have to pay to boost it or to run it as an ad to get it to go farther out, right? But if I run a live video, Facebook actually boosts it for me for free. Does everybody get grasp what I just said? Facebook is going to help you not only grab and create interaction with your tribe on Facebook, but they're going to push it more for you or for free. Because why? Anybody know? Facebook wants you using live. So if they and so there's Facebook wants people using live, and now I just heard there's another trick that Facebook is, um, actually wants you to use another tool that they think is the next biggest platform for Facebook. Does anybody know what it is? Groups. Why do you think Facebook is going to groups? They've run out of ad space, right? They've run out of ad space on your pages. They've run out, they're running out, and they need more ad space. In order to run more ad space, they are going to now encourage ads going through your groups. Groups are bringing more tribes together, which is a cool component because we all want to connect with our tribes. That's where we do business, right? Business to consumer, that's great. So guess what they're doing for you right now if you use a group? If you post something, for example, in a group or a marketplace, they're actually taking your posts and they may run it for free as an ad on the right side of a connecting consumer. So I'm telling you right now, use Facebook stuff in, to your advantage. While they're doing live and they're helping you, use live video. And if you're posting your listings, how many people don't have a listing? And I'd just be really honest with me right now. Who doesn't have a listing? Okay, thank you for your honesty. How many people would like to have a listing that you could boost or post or something, right? All mine are for you, right? How many listing agents in this room are willing to share their listings with other agents? Okay, right, why not? What is my goal with my seller? It is to help promote that property and get it sold, right? Any new agent in here who does not have, you have to be with the same broker, 
So any Tierra agents, you can call me. You can use any of our listings at any time. You just have to keep the information correct, right? The consumer on your pages is not going to know that it is not your listing. You're, it's a listing of Tierra and Tigua Realty. The same goes for Remax, Long Realty, um, anybody else in the room. Look to your folks that have listings if you're new and ask them if you can help market their listings, right? It's a whole easy way to get out there. Um, thank you, Tom, for this. Make sure you have your sound on when you do your Facebook Live. I did one without the sound. That's a good tip. Turn on sound <laughs> when you're going live. <laughs> um, wait, I've done that before too, so <laughs> uh, it's pretty fun. So how many people have gone live on Facebook? Wait, let's get high hands. Okay, so about a third of the room. How many people have not? Two thirds of the room have not gone live. Why haven't you gone live? Somebody be honest with me. Shy. You're shy. You're not shy. <laughs> so the first one out of the gate, right? I'm shy. <laughs> no. No, why haven't you? Have you really not gone on life? I'm super self-conscious. I'm shy. Okay. Anybody else so other than shy? I don't know how to do it. Okay. So it's a technical issue. That's easy. Okay, I love that answer from both of you. That's awesome. Okay, so let's get over some of these issues. Shy, I'll fix in a minute. Um, <laughs> we're gonna fix that. Um, you're already on uh, video right now, by the way, so you've already lost Shy. You know that, right? Okay, you're like the world will see you soon. Uh, wave to that camera right there. Just go like that. <laughs> uh, the technical part is as easy as grabbing a friend at the office or a friend who knows how to do it. And all you, who, you both have iPhones or are, yes, iPhone? What do you have? Android. So you grab a friend who knows Android and you grab a friend who has an iPhone. There's plenty. Everybody you know has one of the other. <laughs> they will show you how to, if you sign on to your Facebook where you make a post, or can both of you make a post? Yes? So in the post page where you go to make a post, it actually opens up and it has a live button. And when you click live, it actually starts counting on a little ticker. What? Yeah, see Create Live down there, good call. Right there it says Create Live. But when you go to make a post, the little live button pops up and it'll say, do you wanna make a, do you wanna add a photograph? Do you wanna go live? Do you wanna add a video? Or do you wanna just write text? Do you both of you know how to add a, vi a, po a picture? Have you both added a photo? Okay, if you've added a photo to a post, you know how to go live. It's the button right like down in there. And you're gonna click on it and you go live, right? It'll do a countdown, it'll go three, two, one, and then you're live, okay? Okay, everybody got that? Okay. Okay, well, the question is how long can you be live? Does anybody know what the, is there a cutoff time on Facebook Live? I don't know how long you can go live, that's a good question. Um, Facebook wants to encourage you to go live longer because they want you to be on the feed so they can reach out and find more people so that you can be seen and you can have more interactions. Okay, shy lady, ready? You don't have to be on the camera to go live. Done. <laughs> Solved. Yay, okay. So what do I do? So let's go live. Let's say you're going live. Oh, no, don't panic, okay. <laughs> Did you see that face? That's awesome. You could, do you do open houses? No. Do you uh, have listings? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Let's, do you have a sign in front of the listing with your name on it? Yes. Okay. We're going to take the camera. We're going to flip out the phone. I'm going to walk right over to my sign it's sitting in front of the yard. I'm going to hit go live and I'm going to let them see my sign. What did I just do? I just covered my butt. Um, all my legal stuff is now right there. It says my broker, my phone number, TRNT, everything's on there, right? So I go like this, I can scan it, I can do whatever I want, and then I can say, hey, this is Tony Ray, I'm taking you inside for an exclusive quick look at this brand new listing I have coming soon. I'll be listing it next week, but I thought you might like to take a peek, and if you know of somebody who might need this house before we go live on the market, you can talk to me right now. And I just walk. I don't ever have to be seen. I just walk, right? And hopefully you've unlocked the door first so you don't have to do the key. No, I did that once. And hold on. 
<laughs> I want to cure this because that's a mistake I made. Who's afraid of making mistakes? Right? It was one of my best things I ever did. Everybody were like, that's totally cool. He's totally human. Make mistakes. Please don't. I want you to really practice. You need to be a one-hit wonder. That is the term you will take on. I am going to be a one-hit wonder. You will never, ever do retakes again. Authenticity comes from one time only. You start practicing what you're gonna say and how it's gonna be more polished and more better, that's not authentic. I want you just to go live and be yourself. And if you get the giggles or you don't remember to unlock the door or you make any mistake at all, all the people watching are gonna appreciate that you're a real human being. So there's no way mistakes are bad unless it's a real flub up and then you might wanna just cut the camera right now, right? But. Let's face it, uh, lots of people go live now and they're on stage and they're cussing and being themselves and doing all kinds of things and they have massive followers because they're authentic. Okay, it's not the same stuff as it was in the old days. So you can go live, everybody can do it. If you're doing a listing video, con the rules say you have to have permission to go and do any photography or video inside the house, correct? So to all the buyer's agents out there, do not walk into one of my listings with the camera and do not let your clients take pictures, right? Without permission. So you could call me, the listing agent, and say, hey, my client's in love with the house. I think they're writing an offer. Um, is your client okay if they go live? And I'll get permission. But just make sure you have permission. If you are the listing agent, you have expressed, you've already written a contract with permission for you to do it, right? If you're doing an open house, I would call the listing agent that if it's not yours, and I would say, I'm gonna go live for the open house. Did anybody see my video go live on Sunday? Anybody in the room see my Sunday live? You saw the Sunday live? So, it, Gonzo, is that up on here? Did we put that up? <laughs> All right, James, can you do me a favor and see if you can find it on there? So we, um, we did, a, we did an event. I don't get to do open houses, but we did an event. And what we did was, is we have a million dollar house. We just finished construction. We wanted to bring people to the house to see it. And it had to be a very specific way. It's in a gated community. You can't just let everybody come see it because you could get just a, a lot of people. We wanted to make it an event. So what we did was is we called five local artists and we turned the house into a little museum. We had them come in and put, um, their artwork on the walls, because we had four rooms, plus the main hallway room, the giant room. So we had five beautiful rooms to do installations, so they could come in and they could actually set up their artwork in the rooms. Then we invited my wine group that we run, which is called the Knights of the Vine. We, uh, yes, I'm, that's me. And who knew, right, that I drink wine? Um, <laughs> So we brought the wine group in and paired them up with the local art so that they could talk to people because our wine group's always looking for more fun winos. Then, <laughs> hey, hey, no judging. Then we also thought, wait, wait, this is a really good way to bring pet partners in. We're brand new to this community. Let's get the pet partner therapy animal teams in the house so they could meet people that are coming in as well. And one of the cool thing is the owner of this house put a pet shower in the house. What a pairing. That was a wine joke. Okay, so, so we have local artists, winos, and animals all in the same house. And, right, this sounds like a setup for disaster. And, um, and what we did was we went, I went live. And I don't know where it is, but hopefully, there's, there's so much on there, right? <laughs> so these are our posts that you uh, probably can follow. If you, by the way, Tony Ray Baker, if you look up there, facebook.com, c Tucson Real Estate, that is, if you go there and like my page, anything I do that is real estate related, if you click on see first, it'll notify you when I'm doing stuff, because I would highly recommend if I'm doing it, just copy me. Right? 
So when you go to um, one, when you go, you're on the wrong page to see it, but when you go up and you click, you see the thing that says following, oh. if you hover over it, a little drop down box and you can click see first, and then anything I do will pop in your inbox and notify you that I posted something. And then if you see something I posted, you can either copy, cheat, duplicate, whatever, you have my permission. Just make sure you don't change any material facts or get me in trouble. And then if you wanna know something about like I posted this cool picture and how did I do it? You can send me an email and we can chat about it and I'll help you, okay? Does that sound good? So if you go to that page, that's the right there, he's working on trying to find you live video. So the, what we did was we invited 200 millionaires to come see the house, right? And we brought in all of the different groups and we opened the house from one to five and we had a mob of people all day. But the coolest part was, talk about authentic, because on the invite, I listed the wine group, the pet group, and um, I listed us, obviously, and what we were doing, we got all these really cool people who came in. We were all excited about drinking wine and meeting puppies. <laughs> Sold seven pieces of art off the walls, raised money for pet partners. We had a big giant tip jar and people just kept throwing money in for pet partners. We hired a classical guitarist, his name's Eduardo, he's amazing. Many of you might have seen him over at Hacienda del Sol. Um, Eduardo came in and played uh, music for us and it was just all around amazing event and there were so many connections made and we ended up getting a couple volunteers for pet partners to go leashed with animals and go to th become therapy teams. So everybody connected. It was just a beautiful thing. So next time you think about doing an open house, I would say maybe think about doing an event, right? How do you help others and how do you get more to, to the, you know what it might be? Might be on my personal page, not my business. We might have gone live off of the personal page. Okay. I'll bet you that's what I did. I remember yeah? Personal page, thank you. Yep, there we go. So I never, so when I'm on my phone sometimes I forget, so you have to be uh, careful to remember what you're doing because I, I always have to think, do I want this on the personal page or the business page? I went live on my personal page very strategically. I wanted to invite people to the event that were my friends my clients, my tribe, right? So what we did was went live there, and then what happened was is I said, if you want the address, please text me. That's from the event, yep. That's an artichoke. <laughs> yep, that's a puppy. All right, and there's from the event. That's one from the event, so it must be close. There's our Spanish guitar, there you go. Yep, so. You don't have to put sound. Oh, listen, this is me having a, okay, it's fine. No, it's okay. So there's a guy with me at the event and he's quite a card. Like he says funny stuff. So he says, that guy. So he's standing there drinking wine and I'm like, let's go with this. And I'm just filming. And I go, hey, we're live at this, we're live at this house. If you wanna come see it, you know, you can just send me a text right now and I'll give you the address to come through the gate and tell you what to tell the guard. And I'm telling him all this stuff and this guy makes like funny jokes behind me, doesn't realize we're live. So I just went with it. So he's like, so uh, how much is the house? And I said, well, for you, two million. And he goes, oh, can I write a check? And so we start this whole dialogue. So we got people laughing because they can hear us in the background, but do you see my face? Shy person? See? <laughs> I'm not there. So there's my whole point. And, you, and I'm sloppy. Look at, look at the thing, it's bouncing. <laughs> How many views did we get on that? Anybody to the show? What do you get? How, what is it? 528 people watched that. Not too bad, and a couple shares. A guy called the following day, called me and said, where's the property? I want my realtor to take me to it. Not bad. So he's looking at it this weekend. Um, and all the other connections that were made. So I might actually sell the house from that video, but there was lots of mistakes made. You can see I'm bouncing around and I was never on the video. Does that help the shy? Okay, so everybody can do live, right? Yeah. There's no reason not to. Oh, I want everybody to try to figure out how we're gonna do live, and I gave you um, some sheets, and on the sheets there, they say different things you're gonna do for marketing. Everybody see that? So you might take those sheets and, can I see that for a second? 
Thank you, I forgot to grab a pack for me. So this is uh, January through June, my marketing schedule, and then it is uh, July through December. So if you wanna, you know, you could take these and copy of them and start using them. They look like, everybody see these, with the dates? So these are the things that Darren and I work on making sure that we're getting done every single day, right? We're trying to make sure we're staying on track. So did I call COI in January? That needs to be, I need to be keeping mindful of the fact that I need to talk to the folks that already like, love, and trust us, right? That's, by the way, that's number one on my list because that's probably the most powerful thing you can do is create events, hang out with the people that love you, do whatever it takes to be around them. Those are your tribe. So that's number one, okay? Um, but these are all our things. So I'd love to see you guys put in that you're gonna do video live on these months, okay? And everybody has no excuse, right? Is that a double negative or something? No, okay, we're good. Um, all right, so any questions on live video? I wanna make sure you're clear because I make it sound super easy and it really is. But if there's any questions, let's answer them. Okay, so for real, so what uh, hobby stuff is really cool. If you, you wanna connect with, so again, Julie spoke about knowing your audience and who you're targeting in your branding. So if I'm talking to my Facebook tribe, right, the people that are on my Facebook page and their friends, I'm gonna do different stuff than I would if I was to run an ad and I'm trying to hit relocation people coming from Oregon, right? I would check mark a box on Facebook that says I want this audience from Oregon only and I'm going to talk to them about how fantastic Tucson, Arizona is and why they should move here immediately, right? So that is a different post. So I'm, talk I'm speaking differently to them. So one of the things I noticed on my tribes though is they love the things we do. So talking about animals, big. Anybody who has a cat, a dog, a bird, a pig, a horse, I don't care what it is, people love animals. My photography, when I shoot pictures of the, so the artichoke that you saw, I never saw that before. Has anybody seen that bloom before, an artichoke? Mm -hmm. Okay, a couple people. So I was out in Darren, it's Darren's artichoke. He's growing these big artichokes. Darren's the gardener, he's the gnome. So he's out in the yard and he sends me the picture from outside the house and I'm inside and I get a picture of this thing and I don't know what it is and he goes, look at this, thinking I know what it is, I have no idea and I'm like, oh my God, he's growing monster flowers in the backyard. <laughs> They're like, it looks this big, right? So I, I don't know what it is, so I post it immediately onto Facebook and like, who knows what this is? And one girl writes, it's called the blue flower and I'm like, that's funny right there, funny. <laughs> So we had a whole interaction on Facebook over this blue flower and somebody pegged it right away that it was an artichoke who had seen one actually bloom before. So I, I actually did the artichoke. If I had been outside, I might have just gone live video and said, holy crap, look at this thing, it's gonna eat the dog, you know? I could have had fun with the artichoke. So live video, also events. Who goes to events? Yeah, only Denise? Okay, no, Tom goes. <laughs> Um, like social events? Social events. So when we were at the downtown Christmas uh, parade last, and they had snow for the kids, they just, a couple years ago they started snow, like a big snow yard, and the kids got to slide on the snow and throw, who knew about this? Who doesn't know about this? Okay, so downtown does this great thing now, right? And it's really cool. And you gotta give props to downtown Tucson and the downtown partnership because they're doing amazing things. The snow kids thing is one of my favorites. There were kids playing in the snow in the middle of Hockamy Plaza. That's crazy, right? So I took out the camera as I arrived because it just looks like so happy. In Tucson, Arizona, there was snow. So I just flipped open the camera and I'm like, oh my gosh, we're down at the Christmas parade downtown. Look at the kids playing in the snow. And I just went across and the snow was coming down because I went underneath the snow thing. So it would look more, it was cool. I went for effect. So I like put it under there and the snow's coming down and the little kids are sliding in it and playing. And people went nuts over it. I got a lot of people watching that video. I went live, Gonzo is the, is the one of the um, bungalow up here? Yeah. So I went live on a bungalow similar to this. And Darren and I, James was there. We did it a little differently. We just didn't go live. We actually 
walked with a little plan. So Darren was inside the house and I was outside the house and I spoke and then opened the door and took them in and they, they, then they got to see Darren. And then we went, I jumped and went around to another room and, and I kept reappearing in places like, where's Waldo? <laughs> yeah, right? Which is funny because I am Waldo in one of Tom's videos if you haven't seen it. Um, so, how many people would you like to get in front of with free video? What would be a happy number for any of you? Tell me a happy number. Anybody got a number? 500, 1,000, wouldn't that be good? So this video hit, when we get it, it was, it was Rosewood, that was it. And if we, maybe you can find it or not, but I'll just tell you, there's, that's our video collection. As you can see, all the videos we've posted in Crazy. And I kind of want to shock you with a number. 26,000 viewers on my video. Right? Rosewood, somewhere, nope, it's not that one. That was later. It's somewhere in there. You see it? 26,000 views. Do you see where his cursor is? 26,000 people watched this crazy video. And how, how much more could you ask for for free, right? So what we did was two things on videos. We made sure that it had closed captioning already. They did that, Facebook does that for you. So does YouTube and other channels. They give you closed captioning. That's huge to the algorithm. So we made sure it had closed captioning. And then it's just Darren and I being silly. I mean, seriously, walking through the house, I'm waving, maybe the 26,000 came because I'm waving like 20,000 in cash in my hands. So that's $20,000 in my hands, I'm waving cash. And I think that could have been an attraction, but we're talking about a house, right? So if you can get that free audience that's from live video, that's my point with live, is you never know what's gonna happen. There's Darren inside. And we're just being dorks. There was like, we just, there was no script. We just talked. Good? All right. Is anybody not sold on doing live video? Go ahead. Oh, yeah, you're sold. Good. Did you do it from your Facebook page or did you do it from your business page? I launched that one from Tucson Real Estate. So that went from the business page. Okay, so you can do it from your business. Yep. And then a lot of times back then when we started on this stuff, I, um, and then I launched out, um, of the business page and then I would share it to my personal. So if I wanted something to be on both, I would share it over. And do you boost it also? So I did not back then, but now uh, we will boost things on intentionally if I want to get more audience. Like for, did anybody, is anybody here from seeing me on Facebook that this class was out? Does anybody come from Facebook class? No? That's how I learned it was today. You learned it was today from Facebook. So that cost me five bucks. That's what I boosted it for. So I boosted it to get it out there for somebody to see it that didn't see it on email. I boosted it on Facebook. Is that where you found it too? So a couple people. Now I'm down to 250 a person. <laughs> There's third person. Okay, so fourth. I'm almost down to a buck a person for that Facebook run. Is that pretty cool? <laughs> Can I hear five? <laughs> yes, see? Okay, so it works. But so I do boost. I just, it's all strategic. If I want more people to see it than normal, I'm going to put five bucks on it. If it's live video, Facebook's going to help you. There's other components to the algorithm. The minute someone pops on and speaks and, and you have live, you want to interact with them. You want to respond. The more response and interaction that occurs on a Facebook video, the more they organically push the video for you. Got that? So while you're behind the camera, you can see them popping on. That's a benefit because when people are saying, I, like, for example, when I'm walking through the other house, people were popping on and I would say, hey, Rose, how's it going? Hey, Joe, how's it going? What are you doing? Hey, isn't it cold in Seattle? So I was talking to the folks while they were popping on because you want to engage them. And they stay longer because you did engage them and they feel, they feel seen, right? So you want to engage them. It'd be really great if you're on a computer doing something live and you could type back because then you're putting it onto the comments and Facebook algorithm loves comments. Cool? Yes. Um, so you could do all those closed captions? Is what you're adding all of that or is it picking it up automatically? Uh, when you go to Facebook, it, Gonzo or James, it's still the same. You go into the Facebook, they still help you with closed captioning? 
They do. So there's a button on your page that'll help you when you load video. It'll actually, you can say CC and it'll actually start doing it. You need to read through it just to make sure it's pretty accurate. But if it's off, it's off a little bit, but you can change the, if it, it'll like shoot little lines of text next to your video. And if it messes up and maybe it cusses and you didn't, you might want to remove that and you can, yeah. Oh. Or you could add a cuss word if you did, <laughs> whatever, right? Um, but, Live would be hard to do closed caption, yes. But live is getting organic boost. Thank you for, I didn't clarify that. But live is getting organic from Facebook helping you. When you do video like this, you definitely want to um, put your closed caption. This house, we seriously, these houses right now, because of video, we're listing these before we go onto the market. And I show no inventory. It's crazy. Because that sold in... I think I sold it in three hours of going on video. We didn't get, we, like, this is what's happening. There's another house um, that we just had that was on the tour. We never went public with that one either on the trolley tour. That one was sold before we even, it was a week before I was supposed to go live with it to the MLS. So that is why this kind of marketing is awesome. This is the house. Right now you're watching an Animoto video and next I'm gonna show you how to do this. That's Animoto is doing that for us. What Animoto is? Wait, when? So Animoto is a uh, video production program, and look how cool that is! All the transitions you see, watching that. I did not do any of it. As a matter of fact, James didn't, and neither did Gonzo. The system did it for us. Um, yes, so if you're on, if you're a, if you have agent marketing, uh, they do a video for you. It's not an Animoto video, but they do do video. There's another product called Listing Booster, which is a Tom conversation, and I'll tell you more about that later, but they also make videos for you as well. So I'm going to show you how to do this and show you how easy it is, okay? So any more questions on Facebook Live? Oops, I lost it. James. Tell me where. I lost my little camera. Yes. Your video is okay. Um, your post is what's important. And the actual, here, let's pull. The actual uh, rules are that I have to get to all your broker and proper information in one click off of a post. And so the post is, um, if I make a Facebook post and it has my website address from the Facebook page, goes to my website and all my stuff is properly displayed, I'm legal, right? However, I would make sure every single post has my full signature, which we do. We usually use the top five lines of a post to talk about the property and to get people in. And then it says, call Tony Ray, phone number, TR Antigua Realty, equal housing opportunity. We put all that, but it drops below. You know how it hides that? So if a consumer says read more, they can see my signature, but it's all legally there. We do that specifically because one, I want them to find me. And two, if the post gets broken from where they see it on my page, they're looking at it on somebody else's, they don't know who I am. So you wanna make sure you have a signature for every post you make. It's just should be common practice for you because then no matter who shares it, because mine are shared, we had one that was just shared like 38 times within an hour. Like the post was getting shared everywhere. So my information's on every post being shared to all the different pages. Is that good? Yeah, cool. All right, so we got an idea how this thing is working. It's pretty amazing, right? It actually has music. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. So the website is called Animoto, A-N-I-M-O-T-O. -O. Looks like that. Today, right now, I'm gonna prove that all of you can do full production. So here's the videos in our library that we've put through the system. You can see that we were, where we've been working on these. Okay. We're going to go to create. See how fast our Wi-Fi is. And I'm going to go to either of these have tons of templates. I'm going to tell you right now to write down on your notes that the coolest template you're going to find is called the 
Animoto original. Would I pass it? Oh, click all, sorry, thank you. I used to do this all the time and now I don't. So this little guy right there looks like this. Do you see the little logo? Looks like a paper airplane flying in. That's your Animoto original. If you click on that guy, it says create the video. Dun, dun, dun. It may be slow because I've not done this with this Wi-Fi before. Here's the cool part. All I have to do is click here to add a photo. I click here to add a logo. I click here to add pictures or video. Click here to add text. If I want to change the song, I can click here. It has a library of hundreds of songs for me. Okay? So I don't like the beat. I can pick another one. All different genres. It's really cool. So let's see what happens if I click on this little guy. I might need help. But let's see. Uh, you want to be, if it's your music, yes. If it's somebody else's, no. Because it will, so the, the question was, can you add your own songs? You really want copyright free music because what I've noticed is it's a pain in the butt. Even some of the songs I've picked before, uh, Facebook immediately stops and sends me a notice that says, warning you're in violation of stealing people's music. And I'm like, no, I'm not. And I have to sign an agreement that I didn't do it. And it slows things down. So this is all copyright free music. So I would just say, find something and make it work because it's quicker and easier. My, my idea is always how fast can I get in and out on a project? Because our time is what costs the most, right? In this business, you have very little of it. So for me, when I was doing all this on my own, it was all about how many videos can I get out in an hour? How many can I produce? If I have five listings, I need to make one for each, each one of those clients. I want those five videos out and ready to go and then I'm gonna just schedule them on Facebook and let them go out every week or whatever I want them to do. So good question. These guys do give you lots of uh, great music and they have genres and so here's my, um, let's see if I can do this. Look at this. So this goes way back because I haven't done this for years. So if I can do this, this is pretty scary. James, do you remember what this costs a year? It's a couple hundred bucks, 300? Yeah, I think it's like 249 a year. So here's my pictures, they're all done, right? All I have to do is, uh, it gave me a song already, so we've got the song. Gonzo, is there a way to get sound? Let's try that and see, okay? Then I'm going to um, add text. I'm gonna, great house, great house. No, I cannot see with this light. <laughs> great house, ready? Sing along. Sing along. <laughs> I don't want it there, I want it here. Volumes up, and then uh, I want to spotlight this one picture right here, right? So I'm going to hit, no, I like this one the best. It's got really intense colors, so I'm going to hit the spotlight button. And now this video is made, ready? This program is going to now spin this for me. It's going to create all of the, what are those called? Transitions. It's going to put the music to the beat because it's the original. How long did that take? Who can do it? Everybody raise your hand, come on. Is there anybody who really can't do that? You saw what I did, I just took five photos. You could just have hit 10 photos. You can make that any length you want. So if you're trying to do a 15 second video to grab Facebook audience, right? You guys understand that Facebook is interruptive. Right? That's interruptive marketing. So when you're scrolling, I'm trying to interrupt you. I'm trying to be the squirrel that grabs your attention. So I'm a squirrel painted in a different color. I'm trying to like get your attention. I got bling on, right? So that's interruptive. I'm trying to stop you to watch my video. So you get 15 seconds to interrupt somebody and that's about their attention span. So if I'm gonna do that video, I can do 15 seconds and roll that on Facebook and I'm gonna probably get a higher watch rate and more people eyeballs on there. So my goal will be at the back end of that video to put a button that leads them back to the website, which is gonna be my listing booster site. And when they go to my listing booster website, 
they're going to then get all the information and all the photos, okay? And all about me. So the goal is on to interrupt Facebook feeds. If I want the full version, I might really load that thing with 30 photos and I could put it on a YouTube channel because YouTube wants how long? More than seven minutes or something now? They want seven minutes or longer on your YouTube channels. So if I go on to YouTube, I might put a full seven minute length uh, video walkthrough, lots of text, spotlighting pictures. Tommy T. Yes. Thank you. Yes, that's true. So what he's saying is Zanimoto has a free version with their, with their watermark on the back end. So if you want to just go play with it and see if it's not, see if I was just, if that's that really that easy, then you can go play with it and see if you can make that work. I ran my first, I didn't have, seriously, when Animoto came out, I was kind of broke. I just ran my first ones with the Animoto thing on the back end. I didn't care. What do I care? Let's get Animoto business. Congrats to them. They created a cool product for me, right? And you. So Animoto is super simple. There, you can make all kinds of alterations as you go, but seriously, all you, so Elizabeth, when you're going into the MLS, you're already written ideas in your head about how to describe the house, right? Okay, everybody knows how to do that, right? You're already going into MLS, you're gonna put the stuff in there, you're gonna put the pictures, and you've already decided you're gonna write some, oh, this is a great lifestyle, it's got an open floor plan, it's got vaulted ceilings, right? You already have the text. All you have to do now is take your description from MLS, and all you have to do is start putting those on those photos. Or be, so you can put it on the photo, or you, right where the, you, I could put it in the photo so it pops up in the photo, or I could put it between the photo. But the system is actually going to create a whole spinning beautiful thing for you and it's all gonna be done. Now here's the cool thing. If I don't put any of my information on the video, what can I do with it? I can put it where? MLS. I can put it in MLS because none of my information's on it. So I'm gonna spin one with no Tony Ray info and put it on MLS. Anybody know the stop rate on MLS or any for a video, what the numbers are on your houses? So if people are looking at, so here's, I think, and I'm gonna pretend I know these numbers. So whatever I say is just true. <laughs> I'm making this up. You go into, so the buyer, the consumer, goes in to your listing, and if you have less than 23 photos, you've lost the buyer already. This is a, these are studies that come out of Harvard and Yale as some of these guys, I don't remember where, but they had a whole thing on the buyer and the photographs. So as they're cruising through, if there's not enough photos, they're going right on to the next. As soon as you cross that 25 photo mark, you get into 25 to 50 photos, you're slowing them down. They're actually parking themselves on your MLS listing and looking longer. What do we feed from MLS? All the other sites. So they're doing the same thing on any other site you're feeding to. You have to have over 25 photos, you have to, okay? It's worth paying someone 100 bucks to go take professional photos. So now the stats are that there's something like 70% stop right now if they see video on your MLS. Like, er, they're gonna stop at yours. Why? Because that's what we do. We're all video centric. We all, it's easier to st not click. It's easier to sit there and watch the stuff go by. Right? Does anybody disagree? Okay, you did. No, go ahead. <laughs> Always, depending on how you write, of course. So I love that question. So when, so what sells houses now versus what sold houses in the past? How did we used to sell houses? We did features into benefits. We still need to turn features into benefits, but what is the consumer buying more than anything now than features? Lifestyle. Lifestyle. Location. Location, location, location has never been bigger because people are buying lifestyle. Why are people all buying near downtown Tucson and paying high prices to get there? 
They want lifestyle. Why do people buy in the foothills with city views and mountain views? Lifestyle, right? So we should be speaking to lifestyle. So if I'm gonna talk about lifestyle or features, I'm gonna put that into that text. I'm gonna add in things they may not have thought about. Private courtyard for entertaining, right? That one has a, the picture that's highlighted. That is a courtyard surrounded by walls. It's got beautiful sails flying over it. It's stunning. Like you just wanna sit there by the little water fountain and just read a book. So what a tranquil, quiet, beautiful place to hang out. So I would sell that on, on that picture. So yes, and assume your client or anybody looking has no clue what they're seeing because they may not know they're looking at a $50,000 appliance package in that kitchen. I would put that. If you've got a chef, you would need to talk to them. That's what that kitchen's about. So marketing is all about knowing that audience, and Julie touched on that quite well. That's the same for us. When we're doing this stuff, we have to make sure we're putting out those notes. So yes, I love the fact that you're putting out words on the, the uh, photos. I would also, um, I'm the worst at this. I never do it, and I should. I, we should have them on our photos in MLS. I used to be good at it, but then I got so overwhelmed, I broke the system, and now I don't know how to get that back in place. And I, Because you really want your MLS photos to tell people what they're seeing, right? So you've already done it once, do it again. <laughs>